this issue is what's on everyone's mind. Donald Trump put this all into motion. He brags about how great it was that he put the judges in and overturned Roe versus Wade, 52 years of personal autonomy. And then he tells us, oh, we send it to the states. It's a beautiful thing. And the catch all on this is, is well, the states will decide what's right for Texas might not be right for Washington. That's not how this works. This is basic human right. We have seen maternal mortality skyrocket in Texas, outpacing many other countries in the world. This is about health care. In Minnesota, we are ranked first in health care for a reason. We trust women. We trust doctors. My party, we've got to do so much better of a job at earning the American people's trust back on this issue where they frankly just don't trust us. And I think that's one of the things that Donald Trump and I are endeavoring to do. I want us as a Republican Party to be pro-family in the fullest sense of the word. I want us to support fertility treatments. I want us to make it easier for moms to afford to have babies. I want it to make it easier for young families to afford a home so they can afford a place to raise that family. Now, now of course, Donald Trump has been very clear that on the abortion policy specifically, that we have a big country and it's diverse. And California has a different viewpoint on this than Georgia. Georgia has a different viewpoint from Arizona. And the proper way to handle this, as messy as democracy sometimes is, is to let voters make these decisions, let the individual states make their abortion policy. And I think that's what makes the most sense in a very big, a very diverse, and let's be honest, sometimes a very, very messy and divided country. The idea that we can magically wave a wand and take guns out of the hands of bad guys, it just doesn't fit with recent experience. So we've got to make our schools safer. And I think we've got to have some common sense bipartisan solutions for how to do that. Well, I think all the parents watching tonight, this is just your biggest nightmare. Look, I got a, I got a 17-year-old, and, uh, and he witnessed a shooting at a community center playing volleyball. Those Awful. things don't leave you. Tim, first of all, I didn't know that your 17-year-old witnessed a shooting. And I'm sorry about that, and I, I hope that you're doing okay. So. Christ have mercy. We have way higher rates of mental health <laughs> abuse or mental health um, substance abuse. We have way higher rates of depression, way higher rates of anxiety. We unfortunately have a mental health crisis in this country that I really do think that we need to get to the root causes of, because I don't think it's the whole reason why we have such a bad gun violence problem, but I do think it's a big piece of it. This idea of stigmatizing mental health, just because you have a mental health issue, doesn't mean you're violent. And I think what we end up doing is we start looking for a scapegoat. Sometimes it just is the guns. It's just the guns.